All right, and hello to and welcome to lesson one of our UV mapping portion here, everybody. Okay, so what we want to go ahead and do now is actually UV map our model before we start painting inside of ZBrush. Now, I'm not going to UV map inside of Maya simply because um, I use a, an external application to go ahead and do that called Roadkill. Um, you can simply just go um, go to Google and type in Roadkill for Maya and you should be able to find it and I believe the site is pullin shapes dash um, or pullin dash shapes dot co dot uk um, but you don't really have to worry that about that because I'm going to go ahead and include the uh, the standalone exe inside of the project folder so what we want to go ahead and do before we jump into roadkill is we want to make sure that we delete all the UVs um, off of our model here so we'll just simply delete the UVs. And you can find this command in the UV texture editor under the polygons. Delete UVs. Just make sure you have the object selected before you go ahead and do that. Okay. So I also want to delete the UV off the eye. Okay. Go ahead and delete the other eye because I only want to UV map the one eye. So with those selected and our UV is deleted, we'll go ahead and clear the history and freeze the transformations on those. We'll go ahead here and export what we need to here. So we'll call this the C Creature um, LI. So I know it's going to be our left eye. We'll also go ahead here and um, export our body. So we'll call this the body UV. Okay. Jump in the roadkill here. And we will go ahead and simply load our object. And we'll go ahead and do the C creature eye here. And you can see that it brings in our shape. Um, now, since we're just going to be using a, a fairly basic UV map here for our eye, we can simply you know cut this anywhere that we want. So I'm just going to hit E to make sure that I'm in edge selection mode. We'll go ahead and cut the, the front portion of the eye off here. So now you can see that we have our um our eye and our pupil laid out here and this is where we're going to be putting the texture onto our model okay so with that we can go ahead and save this okay go ahead now and load in our body and let's go ahead here and uv map our body now it doesn't necessarily um, matter how we're going to go ahead and uv map this the ultimate goal is just make sure that you UV map it in a way that it's going to be easiest um, for you to go ahead and texture and manipulate if you have to inside of Photoshop. So what I want to go ahead and do here is I want to make sure I break this into a um, bunch of different sections. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the um, fins here. Okay, making sure that I select the entire edge loop there. Make sure that we get this one selected as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and select the opposite side here. Oops, we don't want that one. Okay, just deselecting on the body here because I don't want to, you know, cut anything off the body for right now. So we'll go ahead and cut those paddles off. And you can see that they come in there. So we'll go ahead here now and cut what we need. And I'm cutting this on the bottom because I want to be able to go ahead and actually hide that seam. Okay. So we'll go ahead and cut this, this, all the way up to, say, there. That should be fine. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing here on the opposite side. And you can see where this really shouldn't take you um, too much time to go ahead and cut all this off. And get this laid out in a um, proper way. So we'll go ahead and cut our fins here. And we will go ahead and cut our other fin here in the back. And I'm just holding down shift to go ahead and be able to select all that. So we'll go ahead and hit C to make sure that that cut gets made. And you can see where it makes that cut for us. And these little red indicators that are on the inside portion of the UVs are edges that haven't been welded or that need re-welding. So we'll go ahead and select those. Just hit W to go ahead and re-weld them. 
so that they're make sure that they are actually welded together so that there's no um, seams or errors in our UV mat. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and um, start cutting off the spikes on our back here. And we're just simply going to do this by selecting the ones that we need. Deselect that one. And we will go ahead and select this. Just making sure that we go ahead and select it completely around these little spikes that are coming out of his back here. And I want to make sure that I don't select anything on the body. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut those off real quick. And you can see that they come in right there. Okay, go ahead and select that one. We'll go ahead and cut that off. Go ahead and select that one. Go ahead and cut that one off. Go ahead and select this one. This one. This one. And we'll go ahead and cut that one off. Just making sure that it's not selecting anything that I don't want. So we'll go ahead and cut those off. Okay. You can see that those all get cut off. And I'll go ahead and we'll weld that back together here in a minute. So we'll go ahead now and make a cut completely down the, the body. But I don't want a cut here actually on the bottom portion of the body yet. Okay, so we just need to go ahead and deselect here. Okay, and actually go ahead and, you know what, we'll go ahead and cut the body apart first. So we'll go ahead and grab our tail. We'll cut that off. Okay, so you can see that our tail gets made in there. And now we'll take and underline the seam here. And cut on the bottom portion of the body. And we'll just go ahead and select these edges individually. That's fine. This definitely isn't Maya where you can select one edge and then select the ending edge. Um, you definitely have to sometimes select all this stuff manually so we'll go ahead and cut that off and you can see that our tail gets made up here and I definitely have to weld those back together and you can see that we have a clean UV mat for our tail there go ahead and weld those back together okay so now we're ready to go ahead here and cut off the actual body parts that we need here okay so if we wanted to we can go ahead and just simply continue that UV map all the way through the body and since that's going to be on the top we can probably try and cut that and see what this looks like and you can see right away where this comes off and um, looks fairly clean let me just go ahead and weld some of these back together here Oops, that actually welded our tail back together. And I don't want to do that. And, yep, it's still welding our tail together here. Let me just make sure I deselect everything there. Okay, so you can see where now we have our um, body pretty much laid out. So I'm going to go ahead and start welding some of these pieces back together including this okay go ahead and weld those gonna go ahead and weld it on the eye and I'm also gonna weld there on the actual face of the model okay and now I will go ahead here and cut straight down the um, top of the model What is basically just going to be on the um, fins. So I'm going to deselect everything else. We'll go ahead and cut that. And now you can see that all our spikes are going to get laid out properly there. Okay. 
So now I want to come in here and try and cut the actual inside portion of the mouth here. So we will go ahead and cut that. And just taking a look and seeing what that is going to cut. That looks fine. So we can go ahead and cut that. Okay, so now you have the inside portion of the mouth here. And we can go ahead and if you want, you know, basically weld the, the top and the bottom together. Simply because you don't really need a um, a real high resolution texture on that. All we simply need is just the, the basics. Because it's just going to get, you know, a basic color to it. So we'll go ahead and cut that. And we're going to go ahead and deselect the stuff here that we don't want. And I actually want to make sure that I go ahead and cut this properly here. This will get a little bit touchy because I don't want to cut anything on the body. I just simply want to cut the, the last fin here. Okay. Go ahead and reweld that facial portion back together there. And I want to go ahead and take a look and make sure that there are no edge errors here. Because we don't want to have any edge errors before we actually start painting our model inside of ZBrush. Okay, we need to go ahead and weld that. Oops. Okay, that looks clean. Okay, so now I think we're ready to go ahead and jump back to Maya here. So we just simply need to go ahead and save this. Go ahead and close this. We'll jump back to Maya here. Simply just add the old body here to its own layer. Same with the eye. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and re-import what we need to. And you can see that our body comes in. And we also have our UV map laid out here. And if you want, you can just simply... Go ahead and adjust this as needed. Um, it may need to be scaled down at least a little bit here so that everything fits. Might have to do a little bit of welding there to make sure that that's fine. Um, you can see I have a little bit of overlap there, so I just need to basically move this down. Maybe over a touch. And that looks good. So let's go ahead here and bring in our eye that we exported out. So there's our eye. Okay, there's our body. You can just simply duplicate your eye model here. But what I want to go ahead and do is just make sure that I adjust the eye UV map here so that everything's going to fit properly. Okay, and I'm just going to grab this and scale this up a little bit so it's going to make it easier for myself to go ahead and texture. Um, I'm not really worried about the actual stretching here. Because the only portion of the eye that's going to get a real quote-unquote texture is just this part. Because this is going to be the the iris and the pupil and the actual color portion of the eye. So I'm uh, just making sure that I have enough room on here to go ahead and texture that. Okay, so now we can just simply go ahead and freeze the transformations, delete the history, and center the pivot on all of these. And I'm going to go ahead now here and duplicate this eye because... This way I don't actually have to UV map two eyes. I can simply just do one. So we'll hit Control D to duplicate that eye. Hit the insert key to bring up the pivot point. We're going to snap that pivot point to the center portion of the model. Scale it negative one in the X direction. So now we have our eye placed the same way as this eye. And if we want, we're going to need to go ahead and turn on the two-sided lighting because you can see where... When we mirror that in the negative x direction, it flips the normals. So we can just simply select that model, reflip our normals, and you can find that, I believe, in the display polygon normals to show you where the normals are. But if you want to go ahead and flip it, you'll just come up here to normals and reverse, and it just basically flips your normals. Okay, so now we have everything UV mapped. And we're ready to go ahead and start painting. And we're going to go ahead and do that in the next lesson. 
but what I want to go ahead and do is just make sure that I reset my project here to the one that we're doing and we're just simply going to select our eyes we'll go ahead and export this out as the eyes and we're going to go ahead and export the body here as creature body paint just so I know what's what this is this was the original one that I took in the ZBrush in the beginning to go ahead and sculpt on. So I'm exporting this out as creature body paint so that I know that I'm going to be painting on that. So we'll go ahead and export that out. And we will go ahead and save our scene. And in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and start on the process of texturing our model. So come on back.